Hello, everybody. Welcome back to your daily dose of dice builder action. It is circadian dice time. We are going to play as the time bender, uh, a new character we unlocked last time. Mysterious time bender can slow or speed up time and uses her skills to blend different futures together. Okay, so we have finesse, which lets us gain two re rolls with a 50% chance to gain a white gem back. Okay. Uh, glimpse into the future, temporarily change each rolled face to a random face from the shop. What? <laughs> okay. Can only be used before. We're going to have to see exactly how that shapes out. Uh, as per usual, let's start with the bandit rate. Like, we need to, uh, we need 11 stars to unlock the next character for the next episode. So let's get on into it. We'll start with the bandit raid so we can try and, like, uh, rip it out quick there. Replace a basic attack on your second die with a cursing attack. When a cursed enemy dies, gain a health. And curse an adjacent enemy one. Uh, sure, sure. Let's go with that. We unlocked that last time, too. Let's go on in. So what does our starting die look like? Our starting die actually does start with two of the reroll activations, which, whenever we roll them, we will get that no matter what. Like, if we roll and then we re-roll and we get a sword and a heart, we get to we get those swords and hearts. We do not have to keep them to get the effects of them, which seems pretty big. Pretty, pretty big. Glimpse to the future. Temporarily change each rolled face to a random face from the shop. Uh, here's the thing. I think it might be a good idea to just go ahead and take this damage uh, and get this temporal gold. That means we could buy something that costs... Uh, it costs four right here on this turn. It might be a good idea to get one of these other things. Uh, this is a combo upgrade, so it just straight up gets... Everything here just gets straight up added to uh, whatever we get. If we put Blitz... Hold on. It is kept and has not been re-rolled this turn. So if we blitz and we get that on the first turn on a reroll, we get that. We still get the blitz effect, right? We get the three times multiplier. That seems actually kind of uh, kind of exciting. But you know what? Let's just uh, let's just do it. Let's just do it. We'll take a little bit of damage. Tis with tis. Really want to spend my money this turn because this two temporal gold will go away if we don't spend it. Uh, we don't have any use for red gems. We do have use for shields and keys. So we could just like we could just ignore the red gem aspect of this. We could just like ignore that, and it's still this is still a good die to, to purchase. It also opens up the ability to go for red spells if they're offered to us. The question is where to put this stuff. Let's see. We have a blue gem over there already. I feel like we don't probably need two. So let's go for that. So now theoretically, if we roll that on the first turn, it'll be a three times attack multiplier. Gain two rerolls. You know what? Let's try that out. Sure. Boom. Let's, let's see if we can get a bunch of the uh, the rerollers. No, we're not getting a whole lot. Uh, what was this? Cursed enemy dies. When a cursed enemy dies, gain a health and curse an adjacent enemy one. I feel like... I, I'm kind of curious. Does that... No. Okay. So the curse happens after the damage. So since we kill it... <laughs> Since we kill it in one shot, we actually get uh, screwed over there. So here we go. We can show that off. We get to do that damage regardless. We get to do that damage too. All right. No problemo. Four extra charges for glimpse to the future. I'm uh, I'm not sure about this one here. Temporarily changed each roll face to a random face from the shop. How useful is that? I guess it's pretty it's pretty good right away. Add a reroll activation to target non-trap die face. That's really good. That's really good for this character. Wow. Which makes sense because it is it's her uh, her ability there. Okay, here's the thing. I want to kill this chest, so we're actually going to say uh, we're actually just going to bop that there. And I'm going to add the reroll activation to the cursed sword. That feels like the right play here. Okay. I guess if we don't like what we have... Again, I, I, I'm willing to take damage 
No, oh, that's right. It got it spread. No. <laughs> the spread damage is actually causing a little bit of a, a little bit of a problem on accident here. Okay, so he's going to die. We're going to take the damage, but then he's going to die, and that's going to spread. It spreads once to the side. Uh, we got a couple reroll activation abilities here, which I think might be a good idea. Reroll activated wild gem sounds really fun, too. However, we are uh, we're playing a little fast and loose in aggro here, so maybe it would be in our best interest to grab this. You know what? We could even replace some of this stuff here. And then we get the key, so we maybe don't have to worry as much about uh, about the chests. Okay, we keep the shield regardless. Okay, it's worth it. All right. Like, I'm a... Okay, so I, this is for science. If we reroll, do we get to do three damage? Was that... I don't know. It killed him regardless. I, just, I don't know if it was three damage or not. I would think so, right? I would think so. I'm tempted to keep this to get aspect of speed. Maybe we can get something really good here. Huh. If we do this and then we uh, put aspect of speed on this, I kind of want to. I kind of want to do that and see how that looks. Literally everything in this die has the reroll activation effect. So every time we roll here, we're getting something. You know what I'm saying? That's really good. Obviously we have the piercing effect, and I would like if we could. Uh, so yeah, reroll. We get that heal. Reroll. We get that heal, and then we get this as well. I'm going to do the glimpse into the future, try and... Okay. Try and get some kind of an effect here. Ouch. 70%. I was trying to go for the one that was going to be a little bit more problematic. Okay, so yeah, it does do the three damage. That is... I mean, like, that's kind of what I expected, but it's still fantastic anyways. Uh, Alright. I would very much enjoy another cursing attack here. We have the white gem there. I I prefer getting more white gems to getting more blue gems. We have the reroll temporal gold. I feel like we can totally cover up the health, especially if we're replacing one of these sword attacks with one that has life steal. Yeah, just having one one die that literally is perpetually always going to give us the effect ev on every single reroll is crazy. All we need is is a, a reroll focused white gem. Alright, let's go for finesse here. So this we can attack something. How about you? Sure. We get the extra temporal gold over there too. We could even finesse again. Like we could just keep on going. Even more temporal golds. Okay, because we want him to die via the curse because then it'll spread. Okay, it's it spread to the right direction there, all things considered. We have a key somewhere. I should have spent my temporal gold. I think that's a big spot where I'm uh, I'm messing up right now. I'm just trying to analyze this. Okay. So we should keep the key, right? Nice. Okay. Nice. I like it. This is this is super powerful. We should spend our money. I'm I'm just too uh, I'm too entranced by how cool this uh, this die that we've made is. Uh, we could obviously make it even better for sure. But the fact that every roll, it's basically like we add an entire extra dice every single roll. The dice just currently is very s scattered among how effective it truly is. Uh, but, like, could you imagine, like, you could put a lot of unrollables on here and you could beef up one tile. That could get really silly. None of these are speaking to me, so I'm going to spend my temporal gold on a reroll. 
Okay, double reaping attack with a key and a combo upgrade blitz gem. Wow, okay, this is weird. I think I like it, though. I think we can go for it. Let's go for it. Uh, We can replace at this point. Man, I don't even know what... I don't know what I care to replace at this point. Probably... I'll get rid of the temporal gold at this point. I'm not probably not using it as effectively as I should anyways. We're going to almost certainly get this, uh, this effect here. Okay, so we're going to get the wild gem. So this is not going to actually curse him, though, is the thing. We might be able to spread the curse... Oh, it did work. Okay, it, do, it did work. It does, it does spread the curse. Okay. That's good to know. And then, and then he killed... <laughs> okay. Uh, let's add a little bit of finesse here. A little bit of finesse to this. You know what? Let's just go all the way. I want to see... Like, Let's spam some rerolls. What do we get? Get out of here. We don't have a lot of ways to do, like, the correct amount of damage here, I'm realizing. For sure, though. Like, I, I have to take all of the double damage hits that I can find here. Like, I need to cash in on them, because I cannot hit this guy otherwise, you know? I know I could have killed him, it just, it was, it was more to showcase than anything. Okay. Okay. I guess we could just capture him, huh? Thanks. You <laughs> joined my team. And keep our money because it is going to give us even more points. All right. Okay. All right. I like the spirit of this character a lot. New scenario unlocked. Moonwood. Okay. Okay. So we also we unlock items by getting 10 stars. We only have 9 stars with the cleric on. Wow. Uh, that's, oh, that's because on the Let's Try is when we played the Cleric the most. 10 stars as the Time Bender to unlock. 15. Okay, so at 10 stars, 15 stars, 20 stars? And 20 stars. You unlock new items. And then 10 stars in hard mode. Okay. All right. We can do it. We can do that. Uh, let's spice it up. Let's go to the... Let's go all the way up to the sewers. We have not been here yet. Let's go, though. Uh... Infested sewers. We didn't go there in the Let's Try, did we? I mean, I would imagine it's going to be some types of poison. I don't know if that means much for us. I did actually... I, I really do like the Witch's Knife. Uh, I do like that indeed. Replace a basic attack on your third and fourth die with unrollable faces and then get precision training. You know what? Let's take that. I like that. I like deleting faces off my dice. <laughs> it just... It, uh, it removes RNG. You know? It's as simple as that. Uh, more charges, maybe? Whenever an enemy dies with five or more attack, gain five health, get soul scatter... I don't know. I, I actually kind of... I think I'm going to go with the extra money. It's a simple one. Petrify 1. Adds Petrify 1 to a random face when dealing damage to you. Uh, that face is useless until it has been kept once. And then it's... It is removed when the face is replaced. I see. Oh, this is like a... This is a really juicy die right here. I'm happy to replace... I'm happy to replace an attack. Reroll. We could get precision training. And attack. And delete a sword? We have... Because if, if we have the reroll sword, we could try and go for... Oh, it's a little. This is a little. This is a little goofy. Just deleting the sword right away. 
Oh, okay, okay. I'm glad that went there. When we delete it, does it... Attacks and keys are used on random targets. That's right. We don't actually get a pick there. Oh, God. Okay. So, the triple attack has been petrified. I would like to get it and keep it. Okay. Okay, so there, there we go. That's, that is probably the best use case, the best common use case of Glimpse into the Future. Okay. Oof. Man, I do wish this was not petrified right now. All right, that, that's about the best, best situation there I think I could think of for that to, to really go down. Oh, it stings. This three sword is literally exactly the same as a one attack, so I'm going to re-roll and try and get, uh, yeah, two, two attacks in. Okay, re-roll. We can get that for free. Literally just going to look for some coins then. All right. Uh, ooh. Double hearts and a... On a re-roll. And a slot deleter. The unfortunate thing is I don't really have a good spot on this die unless I want to get rid of my wild gem. I mean, I could try and just do it over here. What would I delete? I could probably delete the blue gem. I, I don't think it would be that big of a deal. The question is, what would I other? What, what's the other thing I would delete? The basic attack or the? Oh, I don't like deleting the temporal money, but I think that that's gonna be what we want to do here. Reroll all dice to the face they had before the last reroll. Wait! Oh my God! Actually, that mixed with um. Oh boy. So we could like re-roll and do second thought, which lets us do that, and then we go back. Oh my god, I love this character! This is so cool! I love the spirit of this character so much. Um I would love to get a, uh, a re-roll friendly. I'm going to try and get this chest. Uh, must be used before. Yeah, let's get a couple more re-roll. I feel like we need to do better here. Uh, 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 oh, a, a white gem. A white gem on a re-roll spot would be really nice. Okay, we take this. Good enough for me right now. Uh, this is not going well. Okay, we could do that. We can't do second thought. This has to be done beforehand. There's a lot of really good stuff over there, though. I was hoping to get the key. Okay, so we're actually going to block this now. So that's something. Backstab. We got backstab. Deal one damage to the enemy. If that enemy is stunned, deal three piercing damage instead. That's no big deal. We're going to block that. We do need to actually get the kill here this time. Triple sword, shield, and coin. I don't care a ton about the combo because we don't have anything else. But I might want to cover up this so sure let's go for it because then we don't have to worry about that petrify it's just it's just irrelevant now okay we take those all right so we have precision precision training again each non-piercing face used to directly attack this gets petrified one so 
petrified. With reroll activation, does it? Let's find. Let's find out for science. Uh, it does not unpetrify it. That actually does. That does suck. It makes sense, but it does suck. Oof. I'm not big on what we got. This this is this is gonna have to be good enough. And then we can unpetrify that die, which is it's super, super important for us to have that. Unpetrified. Man, I, it's a cool looking roll, but it's not as strong as it seems because of the fact that these guys have a damage cap. Two hearts on that. Again, same same thing. Uh, we could kill by going for this and backstab, and then we would also end up getting a coin and a white gem and a wild gem still. So that's pretty good. Just basically just put those both on the same tile there. Oh, I got excited. I thought that was a re-roll over there. Okay. I think we want to get her out of here. Second thought. We go back. Get another free attack. <sighs> Ooh. I feel like we gotta. Do you not normally have petrify? No. All right, we're gonna take damage, but like, so be it. Backstab is not piercing, is it? Nope. Do that, then we can also do precision training to delete something. You know, I kind of want to delete the coin off that because we do get the coin too, you know. Like, and this is like, this is a pretty pretty juicy hit for us. Uh, Maybe we can get second thought? Okay, well, it doesn't matter. We got the same thing anyway. Get out of here. Seven turns left. We should be fine. Two piercing. This is, this is also fine. Uh, I, I'm, I'm okay with taking one damage if that's what it takes. Okay, the wild gems are pretty important because now we have second thought. I feel like it lets us play around a lot. Ooh, wild on a reroll though. Doesn't matter. We don't. We we can stall. We can stall. We can stall and try and get some extra money. I'm gonna cancel that attack. I don't want to. Okay. I I like that a lot. I, are we gonna get rid of an attack here? I guess so. Yes. We have three turns left, so it's really... It's not too crucial there. And we have backstab, so, like, worst comes to worst, we will... Um... Just get... I'm just farming money, man. Wait. Ooh. I don't know. There's some, There's just something kind of fun about that. We could even go back more. Uh, it's not that big of a deal, though. Like, we're not going to be able to buy much of anything. Like, yeah, it doesn't really matter. It's just fun. So I guess it does matter. Because fun is important. These guys do shrivel. Damage from this reduces your maximum health rather than your current health. All right. I'm not too worried about this batch of boys. Maybe we keep that. I 
don't want to lose my max HP. No, thank you. All right, okay, this is a... Uh, this is a little weird. We can get p piercing if we get... Yeah, a magic attack against the Gorgon. Each non-piercing face used to directly attack this gets petrified one. Uh... Magic attack would be perfect. Other than that, man. This is... It kind of counters us a bit, for sure. Nothing over here. Again, except for that. That we get would be really that good. I'm trying to find something. Yeah, I was trying to find something that we could, uh, we could use Glimpse to the Future on. This literally comes down to, do I want to attack this? Because then we have to, like, we do the three damage kill. We can try and do that. I guess we're going to try and waste it over there. Oh, okay. That's, that is so much, uh, so much better than other things we could do. I forgot. We could get the, uh, the chain combo there. That was pretty lucky. We're, we're taking a smacking, but. I think that's just gonna have to be what we do right there because i need i need that guy to stop and the fact that it's not um okay there's some crazy stuff over there so we can heal we can heal again get even more money i don't know if we're gonna get enough money to like Oh, what am I doing? What am I doing here? What am I trying to go for here? This might be okay. We could glimpse into the future. We could add those gems onto a reroll. We don't really need more gems. We're about to run out of abilities. Whenever you gain gold, gain a health. Double the attack of a random face when capturing. That sounds kind of fun. So we doubled up the magic attack there. That actually seems really helpful for this. Do we want to spend our money? Probably. We'll level up if we do, so sure. Let's go for it. Okay. That's very much a roll past it kind of a thing, so it sure works for me. Mm-hmm. We have a kill. But we could we could push it. <laughs> we could push it. We don't have a lot of other kill options, so I feel like we shouldn't push it, right? Like I, I would have liked to get the loot the loot gnome. Okay. I need uh Oh no. Oh no. I say I need this to go better. Oi, okay. Eighty percent chance to capture. Might be good to get you out of the way. 20% chance to reduce the attack of enemies hitting you by one. Oh, super happy that hit. Uh, I don't want to be petrified. Okay. Cool. <laughs> uh... I don't have a lot of things that can that can pierce this. So I feel like we almost have to. Oh, that sucks. We have shield right now, we don't. Oh, that's even worse. Oh, that's even worse. We're actually in a we're in a real pickle, huh? We're in a real pickle. This is bad. 
Okay. Thank you for the health. That has a sh that has a shot. That is like, oh my god, what the heck? Why'd your attack go up? Why'd your attack go up? To three. Gains one attack when dealing damage. Oh! 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 I've been misunderstanding Frenzy. Gains one attack when dealing damage. I see. I thought that it was gain a second strike. But that's double attack. I there's just there's two things going on there. Mm. We are we are dead. And it's a shame. We wouldn't be dead if this was not cursed, but it is cursed, so. Sucks to be us. Uh, fine. Not much to do there. Ow! Ow! Yeah, I feel like I, I was focusing a little bit too hard on trying to make one really funny, big, powerful die. Uh, and I didn't focus enough on just, uh, not doing a, a die. Not dying. All right. Sword, glimpse into the future. I'll take one petrify, that's fine. I don't I don't need that, thank you. Glimpse into the future might not be bad. There's some good stuff over there. Not really what I wanted, but it works. It totally works. So what is is this our blue that's our blue gem okay we have one coin there's no I could I mean that looks like a good set over there so I don't want to re-roll it just to re-roll it doesn't really make sense to me to do so hmm. I'm actually gonna hit oh ow that did not work how I want it. Precision tra training to get rid of this die might be good because I don't want to waste my turn keeping it. And also, I don't think we need two blue gems anyways. Okay. Thank you. I think we just keep that by something. An attack and it here here's the thing. A double double splash attack is good. We know for a fact. Ooh, but this is actually probably better. A du, we need a double attack and kidding a shield as well. The fact that there is a combo there too is just really like it's just icing on the cake. Okay. Oh. I don't want to lose our only way of getting the white gems because we would, we kind of want more of those. But do I want to delete an entire attack? I could delete a coin. Let's do that. Chrono Punch, stun a target enemy and send it into the future if possible. What? <laughs> That's so funny. So we send them to the next wave. Lock target die until the end of the turn with a 50% chance to gain a blue gem. That sounds really fun. We can lock a die. I think we should just do it. Should we want to restock? Let's do it. It's free. It's free, basically. Like It's not literally free, but it's basically free. Okay, I'm going to lock that. Then we can re-roll, play around with it. Woo, baby! Whoa! Whoa! I really don't want to be petrified, so I'd rather take the extra damage. So we can add that reroll to one of these things and then have an extra heart reroll too, if we want. Add the heart reroll, and we can add that to a reroll thing. What would we do with that? Something like this. I 
I should have done that one. That white gem, the one white gem slot is just not enough on its own. Not enough on its own for us right now. It didn't even bother attacking him. Wait, what? It has a reroll on it. Shouldn't I have gotten the option to... I must be misunderstanding something. Would have been great if there was a chest there, too. Okay, so we have... This guy. Youch, that was terrible. Not what I wanted. Okay, uh, uh Come on, just look anything that'll actually kill this guy. Anything that'll actually kill this guy. Just anything that'll actually kill this guy. Even if it means petrifying it, sure. I think it's okay. Wow. This is really cool. But actually kind of... The, the funny thing is this is not really that good, actually. <laughs> I'll take this for the extra money. Double sword and a shield and a wild gem. Now this is pretty cool. That should give us an extra die, too. We don't need health. Simple as that. I'm actually, I'm actually pretty satisfied with that. That we, we block everything, and then they go back into being stunned. Uh, that is such a good idea to keep, I think. Again, like, it looks like it's really good, but it's actually, like, just pretty good, I guess. Let's delete a blue gem from that one there. All right, we got to... Oh, wait a minute. We got to kill here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. The good news is we should be able to. All right, we absolutely, absolutely should be able to. Boy, that was a booty clencher. Shockingly. Okay. Uh. Easiest time lock of my life. We can do better. We have one re-roll left. It's not really worth the uh, playing around with, I don't think. Get those out of here. This golem dies before that golem. He has a treasure chest, so make sure we gotta make sure. God, I'm loving that. Again though, it, it it's it is actually more redundant than you'd think. So like I'd almost like to finesse and try and fish out this die. This one right here, so we can get the free extra attacks right now. Cause but like this is just as good. Cause I'm going to use this on the Serpent Warrior, who also has a treasure chest. It's just as good. Well, at least it would have been if I didn't remember that he has a treasure chest too. Man. Time lock. Plus combo points, too, though, is something worth thinking about. Okay, there we go. That's the kind of thing we're looking for. Very good. Thank you very much. More damage. Sure. I'll take a I'll take a hit. I don't I don't care too much there. Uh I think we're, I mean, we're, we have maximum wild gems already. Sword coin and sword more coin. I don't know. Let's make it a Let's make it a 
wild one. I think we're going to probably end up using our last... Yep, our last finesse here, which is a little bit... Oh, boy! A little bit not the best. If we time lock that, we can... We don't need it. We don't need a red gem. Otherwise, this, I got excited when I saw a gem with the reroll symbol. I just realized we also have the uh, that gain double time reroll. You may keep an additional, you may keep dice an additional time before ending your turn. Wait, what? Reroll. You may keep dice an additional time before ending your turn. Seems broken. And by that I mean like OP, OP, OP. We'll have to see. We'll have to see. We'll have to see. Time like that one. Obviously. Free kill every time we uh we re-roll this. It's so good. You were nothing. So we could double time. We can re-roll again. So we it that's just it straight up is as crazy as it seems. That is nuts. We could... I don't know. I wish I could uh, delete some of these tiles here. I wish we just used all the Fate Crafter tools on getting rid of some of these extras. I think that would have been better for us. We have money that we should spend. I don't see why I would not uh, put it over here. Okay. Cause it's just free money. It's pretty useful. Oh god, why does this all have to be pretty useful right away? Uh I could capture something. What's your eighty percent? That was a 90% failure? Are you serious? A 90% failure? Okay, now it's literally impossible to, to fail it, so... I'm actually gonna try and... I'm gonna capture you, because I don't want to have to deal with the, uh... With the petrify... The petrify of it all. Double time is, is really very good. Um... Uh, I don't know if we want any of that over there. Hear me out. I'm going to really want that to be unpetrified. Oh, jeez, dude. I'm going to really want that to be unpetrified. For the boss. So, I'm investing in my future, dang it. Sure, probably. Get an extra blue gem so we can really use a lot of double time. Yeah, I'm investing in my uh, my future there. Ooh, blue gem on a reroll and a shield. Blue gem and a shield on a reroll with an attack multiplier. That I'm really into. Uh, I don't care as much about coins anymore. Let's not spend any more money. Ow. Okay, so we have a we have an odd number there, so we can totally feel free to time lock this. Which, why would we? We would do it. I kind of want to time lock the attack multiplier. Oh boy, this would have gone better. Okay, so that should stay. That's why we did it. So we could do that. We can just go absolutely ham. Uh, this damage multiplier is crazy. Wait, why do we have? Why do we have a? What's that? What unplugged? 
Why do we have a times three? Why do we have a times three instead of a times two? I'm happy about it. I'm not, I'm certainly not. It's because we technically rolled, we rolled it again, I guess. Dream overkill. But like, what am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to do? Okay, we get a guaranteed shield, that feels nice. Alright, get out of here. Alright, we should have we have more than enough points already. Haven't seen that in forever. This is a really good... That's a really good hand to not do anything with. We want to just end the turn there because we want to keep our money even though, like, there's fancy little light-up stuff over on the left. I want to click it, but we're not gonna. All right. New scenario unlocked. The Crystal Nexus. Mutants unlocked. Enemies in all scenarios can now mutate. Mutant enemies gain a random power but yield more XP and points when defeated. So they're like uh, like champion units. And we got the Beggar's Rug and the Time Stream Striders. Beggar's Rug is at the end of the wave. Gain two gold if you have no gold. Two gems if you have no gems, and four health if you have two or less health. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. You could abuse the two gold situation pretty frequently, I bet. I bet you could really abuse that. Uh, we also got the Time Stream Striders. When you attack with a die, if you've already attacked four or more times in the same turn, gain one blue gem. Also start with double time. Oh, that would have been really nice today. That would have been really nice on that last run. So we actually did not unlock the next character. We're literally one... We're literally one star away. I may literally just run through, like, the vampire nest to try and get one star here uh, with the cleric off camera. Literally. And it's so, like, intentionally trying to just complete it at one star so we can try and, like, literally... I uh, pretend <laughs> like we still need to, to do it in, in its entirety there. Uh, oh, I'm going to go because something seems to be continually unplugging. And I just just in case it happens to be my external hard drive, I'm going to go. So thank you for watching. Check out the chat for Rogue Legs and more every single day. It's been Circadian Dice. Click the link at the top of the description to try the game for free. It's a pay-what-you-want model on itch.io. You can pay any amount that you want to try and help support the development of this fantastic game before it eventually does come to Steam. But that's going to do it. Thank you for watching. Check out the channel. As mentioned, Rogue Legs and Morbid. I'll see you next time. Bye.